Hey, welcome back to another video of mine. It's Master Aquatics, and I'm bringing you guys another video. It's always a pleasure to have you guys watch a video of mine. I really do appreciate it. So in today's video, I wanted to do a little bit of an experiment. So if you guys missed it, I recently just moved my tarpon into my 125 gallon tank with my other fish and they are having a blast they just love each other i mean there's a little bit of aggression going on in there just a little bit but it's mainly coming from the bluegills which are the black fish back there the black and brown fish um, the tarpon and the peacock bass they don't really mess with each other or, or do anything crazy they keep it civil they keep it civil they know it's a no flex zone in that aquarium it's the bluegill that stir up all the drama and cause all the problems which I will be getting rid of those guys pretty soon I know I say that way too much and I don't do it but it's like how do I get rid of a fish I don't want to kill it so I mean I caught these guys they were supposed to be food for my largemouth bass at the time uh, my largemouth bass ends up passing away and I ended up keeping these guys and they were so small when I first had these guys but now they're just getting bigger they're getting meaner more aggressive and they keep on picking on my peacock bass and I really don't like it like I really don't appreciate them doing that like who do they think they are I mean they are wild fish and they are messing with my exotic peacock bass like they are crazy but the last time I released fish into a lake, you guys got really mad. So I don't want to do that. I know and I understand why you guys got upset with me for doing that. But, I mean, it's just, like I said, it's hard to get rid of fish. Especially when you don't want to kill the fish. By the way, that is a dead rosy red minnow. They always kill rosy red minnows. That's why sometimes you'll see dead rosy red minnows. Because they'll just kill them. Sometimes they don't eat them. Uh, what I wanted to show you guys was this experiment that I did with my fish. Now, this was when my baby tarpon was in quarantine, and I was trying to get him to eat the small bluegill, and he wouldn't do it. So that's how I knew I would be able to put him into the 125-gallon tank with no problems. Um, he also reacted really good to the laser pointer. Um, the angelfish didn't really react too much to the laser pointer except for that silver one right there He was the only one that was just having a blast. He loved that thing He loved chasing it around all the other angelfish didn't care. They didn't bother not a care in the world They might have given it the slightest bit of attention But not as much as the one that you see in front of you the largemouth bass. He didn't really care for it either the baby tarpon was the one that really went ham with this laser pointer. Like, every time I pointed that thing at him, he just went nuts. He just would go crazy, and he would attack that thing on sight. On sight. Without hesitation. I mean, as you can see right in front of you, uh, I was messing with him for some time with that laser pointer. Um, I don't think this, cru this is cruel, by the way. I was really just playing with my fish. I mean, if, if you can use this with a cat and dog, why not with a fish? Let me know what you guys think. Alright guys, so I just want to address a few things about my new fish. Since I've shown you guys my baby tarpon, you guys have been saying this fish is sick, this fish is in distress. The baby tarpon is fine. I even went as far as taking your guys' suggestion into adding an air stone into my aquarium because you guys were saying that they were breathing too hard or it seemed like they were breathing too hard with their gills. But I mean, they're still fine, they're still eating, they're still swimming, all that good stuff. A lot of people were asking about that mole right there on my fish's face that is cosmetic that's just a cosmetic feature um, that he has if it was really something that was major then I would have spotted that already and something would have happened to this fish but this fish is doing okay it's eating it has a big appetite and if you go back and watch my top three signs that your fish is going to die video then you'll know that I know when a fish is going to die if the fish is not eating, your fish is sick and something's wrong with it. If your fish is eating, your fish is a good fish. It's a happy fish. A hungry fish is a happy fish. That's not like a parasite or a fungi or anything like that. I can easily, well I wouldn't say easily, but I can get that removed. I can do it myself or I can find someone to do it. But right now I'm not worried about that. He's still young. 
he or she. I'm just focused on making sure that I can take care of him here in the next few months. I'm focused on seeing how fast he grows and whether or not I can keep him as long as I think I can keep him. You know, because this is not going, this tank is not going to be his home, but I will keep him for the time being. It's okay to have small fish in a tank that's not going to be good for them in the long run, but for the time being, while they're small, it's okay to have them in a tank that's not fit for them when they get bigger. I mean, that's what most people do for their fish. When you go to the fish store, you don't see fish in huge tanks. You see a bunch of small fish or big fish in small to medium sized tanks because it's temporary. They're just holding blocks. Right now, I just don't feel too comfortable just removing that mole on his face. I'm not too worried about it, just like I said earlier. Um, and these guys are fighting They're, these guys he is always chasing everybody around this uh, bluegill right here and he's also coloring up nicely but this guy has the face of a toad this guy's kind of ugly I'm not gonna keep that guy for too long but I really want to get him on camera chasing around these fish the only fish that he's not chasing around is the baby tarpon but he will chase around my my bass which by the way my bass is growing <laughs> super big really fast and he's coloring up really nice too I gotta say so uh, my fish you know he's in really good condition like I provide so much for these fish you guys don't even know off camera I'm spending my time with these guys like most of most of my days I'm here with my fish taking care of them feeding them I feed them multiple times a day I change out their water you know I've been doing this for a while you know, I'm not a pro, I'm not an expert, I am a master in my mind, I don't care what you guys say, <laughs> you guys control me all you want. Also guys, a lot of people are saying that I can't keep this car uh, tarpon in here because it's going to get big eventually. I do understand that guys, I know it's going to get big, but I can still keep him right now until he gets big. And whenever he gets too big, I'm going to give him a really nice home, I'm going to rehome him. Um, to be honest with you guys, I might take them to a local fish store and trade them in maybe for like store credit or trade them in for another fish. I don't really like using the term trading in, but that's honestly what it is. Um, I mean, I did that the other day with a few of my angelfish. Um, I don't really see a problem with it. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, it's better to trade them in than to keep them in the tank um, that's too small for them, right? There's a few shops around here that I can take them to that I know will have a really big aquarium for them. Also a lot of people are saying that this is a saltwater fish. Um, I did google this fish before buying it and there are two different, uh, there are different species and different variations of this fish and this one was in fresh water when I bought him. So you know before I bought him I made sure um, that I could take care of them and the shop owner assured me with my tank specs that I was able to take care of this guy and he was right because the first few days that I've had him in quarantine he's been doing really good he's been eating right away uh, and I've been medicating him I mean he's been getting the best treatment possible and he's doing great I mean this is a really good tank for this guy for right now when he gets too big then you guys will let me know and I'll know for sure. So please guys, stop worrying about this fish. This fish is going to be okay. If you guys really are worried about that mole on his face and you think it's going to get the other fish sick, which it won't, um, let me know down in the comment section if you guys want me to remove it. I'll make a video removing it. Um, also, I've never done something like that before, so um, if you guys have any advice or information on doing that, leave it down in the comment section down below. I'll still be doing my own research as to figuring out how I can do it as well. But look at the aggression right there. Ooh. Since I put the camera on them. Let me know down in the comment section down below how I can get that removed from his face if you guys really want me to remove it. Before you guys go, please check out my merch. I'll leave a link down in the description. I know I keep saying that in all my videos, but you know, if you guys really want to help out with the channel, if you guys really do like my videos and you guys want to support me, the best way to support me 
would be to buy a t-shirt. I'm not saying you have to. I'm not asking for you guys to do it. I'm just saying even if you guys take a few seconds just to check out the designs, that would mean a lot to me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.